Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new program in Akoko TV. My name is Michael Uche Ibuanugo, aka Cola Man. This is called Ride with Cola Man. I've just arrived to pick up my first guest today. I'm not gonna mention his name until he arrived. It's going to be kind of a surprise. Yeah, so keep watching. Subscribe to Akoko TV for more fantastic videos. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, keep watching. Oh, the two part. <laughs> good day. Good day. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. How's everything? We're cool. We thank God. So it's another weekend. It's good to see you. It has thank been long you. since the lockdown. That's correct. You're yeah, um, please can you hold this? This is our microphone so okay. that our voices would be more audible. Okay. So, um, you know, I don't know around, I don't know so much around this place. Mm -hmm. So you have to be directing me. We just drive around and then we come back to the to the service okay. spot. Okay. This program is called Ride with Coloman. Ride with Coloman. Yeah. I have uh, 21 questions prepared for you. Wow. Yeah. So I'm going to be playing it back. It will be playing like a big brother, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just give your honest opinion. Just be frank with everything you I'm not really good in answering questions anymore. But I know you can do it. You are an MC, shot. right? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> So okay. let's um where do you really wanna go? You wanna cruise around this area because this is twenty third district of here. Yeah. 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 Anyway, you direct me. I ha we have no direction. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go straight. Normally, I plan to drive to. Um, to the city. Uh, yeah, I plan to drive to um, Lord Supermarket okay. to check if he has a fresh or hard Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Let's, let's do towards that. Okay, you can direct me because yes. I don't know okay. the way. Okay, As we are going, we will play in along. along. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I have not done something like this before, so. So me too. So. <laughs> Let's see. Looks interesting. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is my area. Yeah. I've been here for donkey years, you know. So. Yeah. It, it's it's almost like outside of Vienna. Mm -hmm. It's suburb kind of. And, uh, it's where the bosses where live. Not this bus, for no, the boss. No, no, <laughs> we are we are in my boy. We live in the city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah to take a make a left to here. Okay. It's very quiet. Yes. Still on your left. Okay. So on the this right of this is uh, leasing, and this mm -hmm. is going to the central, you know, to the central. Okay. And the man, this street, Brighton Street, one of the longest streets in Vienna. Very. Yeah, you know, I I remember I have been here once. Okay. Um, there was a time Utebok has a house here. Okay. Mama Utebok. Yeah. Our okay. people used to live there before. Mm hmm Possible. On this left lane, like the other guys are going. Okay. So, are you ready for the for the questions? Yes. I'm <laughs> kind of nervous anyway. No, you uh, shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Yeah. It's not. Um, it's it. it's not a tribunal. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me let me find. So we start. Mm -hmm. Take a, a deep breath and out. <laughs> okay. All right. So, welcome to Ride with Cola Man. Please introduce yourself, sir. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Chiwendo Sami on Majuro. That's just who I am for now. AKA Tupac. Okay. <laughs> you said AKA that. Tupac. You said that. You said that. But That's why why do you know that I don't I don't I didn't actually know your real name. Yeah. I know you with Tupac. Yeah, you know, that was a name, a name that was first to me years back, you know. Uh when we were like, you know, uh, newly here and uh, you know Doing music, singing, going to party, clubbing, and you know. Oh, you were in music before. Kind of, you know, like you know, doing some backup and uh, you know, playing drums and stuff like that. So, and, you know, I 
know, when each time any music comes out, you know, you try to fly along with it. So. Yeah. And that was in the early, say, late in the middle of 90s, you know. Yeah. Went to Park of Marosha Club, Miss Blessed Soul, you know, rest in peace. Yeah, man. Do you, did, yeah. uh, do you rap? Uh, kind of, you know, try to copy what he's doing, you know, like, you know, try to do like what he's doing, living a two-pack life and, uh, you know, trying to, you know, like an activist, you know, try to, you know, copy his way of life. So all of okay. a sudden, he just, because of his music, I was really in love with two-pack music. And, yeah. And before you know it, you know, he just... They started you know, calling you two-pack. Like, you know, like crazy. This is just a little history, and of course, I was also going to gym then, you know, trying to burn some fat, you okay. know. And so, <laughs> if I couldn't make a six pack, I was yeah. able to make a two pack, a two you know. Pack. Okay. And so, all these, you know, his names come to jam together. I said, look, I don't have six pack, but I have two pack, you know. Okay. And with my, you know, love for two pack as a musician, and it uh, took yeah. off. You know, my name got lost. You know, I was. Because I, I think I think many people know you with Tupac. They don't know yes, your real name. That's correct. You're right. So your real name is Sammy. Yes, my na real name like is Samuel. Samuel. Samuel, yeah. Okay. Uh, my Igbo name is Chiwendo okay. and Onomajuro. That's In how I Interesting. Have. Yeah. Okay. I have to uh, put that on my diary. Yes, yes. <laughs> so let's go to the to the next question. Thank you. Um, question number two. What do you do for a living? Okay, um, actually, uh, I came in here, uh, you know, as an immigrant and, uh, you know, after a long time passing through the whole pro uh, process, I went into uh, what we call like apprenticeship, you know, learned uh, like what machine machine bow technique in German. Okay. Like a machine turner. Like production of production. machines. Yeah, something like wow, that. That's so, a big something. So and then I graduated with the uh, with the certificate as a machine bow technique. And we worked for a few years and uh, you know and uh, during the um, General Motor I worked as actually as by General Motor so during this uh, General Motor crisis I think it was during Obama time, you know, so mm -hmm. we lost our job, and you know, so uh, it was heavily here. And so many of us. It, it, sorry, it was this house owned by Mama Ute Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I think no more. I think okay. they have sold it. All right. Yeah. And so, so for like 12 years, I got into transport, into cab, and presently, I'm doing cab in Vienna right here. Wow. So I'm a cab driver presently. Interesting. And you're also an MC. You, yes, for, you forgot I, that one. Okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> MC Tupac. Yeah, I, I do that, you know, behind the table, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Know, it's my hobby and, uh, yeah. you know, that's how we roll, yeah, you know. So. You know that MC has different classes. Mm -hmm. And you are one of the highest class in, in Austria. I must oh, tell you really? that. I must tell you that. Wow, I should. Anytime I see you shoulder. MC in, Things, you know, it's not easy for it's a talent and it's a gift that you stand and you address the public and they listen. Mm -hmm. First of all, the personality counts. First okay. of all, people look at the personality of who is speaking before they can listen. Wow, and you are one of the best MC. Thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so I, keep it I, up. I, I, oh, I never knew this anyway, so thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Anytime I see you on, on, on stage, it gives me joy. Thank you, thank you, Colomar. You're welcome. So, the third question. The third question comes. How long have you been living in Vienna, Austria? Um, actually, I've been living in Vienna uh, for the past 23 years now. Been wow. Here for, yeah, wow. for the past 23 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. It has been long ago. That, that means Absolutely. it. Absolutely. People go, man. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. So, yeah. <laughs> people go, man. Osis <laughs> Yes. Yeah, straight wow. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, we go to the fourth question. Okay.
did you plan to come to Austria or was it a coincidence? Um, no, I wouldn't really say I planned to come to Austria, but you know, um, somehow, some times ago when I decided to move into Europe and uh, you know, and I stopped in Istanbul in Turkey, mm -hmm. Somehow, I had a relationship and uh, uh, just to make it short, how I came in here, my daughter was born here. Okay. So, and I came in to visit my daughter. Okay. And got stuck. Wow. So, wow. So, wow. Uh, so, it was a destiny. Yes, it was kind a destiny. of. Yes, because I came just to see my daughter. And, uh, wow. So, there was no intention to stay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Like mine, my story was... I was on the way to Sweden okay. and I was traveling with a friend of mine. He okay. said to me, let's go to Austria first, okay. that his younger brother is living here. Okay. After seeing him, then we can proceed to Sweden. Okay. So when we came here, his younger brother said to me, I should stay, that here and Sweden is the same. same. So. I was so sad, but later on, I'm, I thank God that I stayed. Yeah, that's it. The rest is history. Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone has a story how Definitely. the person ended up here. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Let's proceed. Think the fifth question. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Austria and its people. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'm. I don't know if I'm the right person to talk about Austria. But from your experience. From, my own, from your uh, own experience. experience perspective. Okay. Yes. And just be honest. Um. Well. I think I. I. I want to say. Australians are good people from my own side. Um, they are very, um, you can deal with them. Uh, they respect the law of their land. No, they and, don't joke with it. <laughs> yes, and they respect it more than anything else. Exactly. And the, the, so, the polizai. <laughs> yes, you know. And I should turn left. You can keep straight. Straight, straight. Yeah, you okay. Can keep straight. Okay. And just because they respect the law of their land, uh, puts you in a safer place here. And as a matter of fact, it's a very peaceful country, which means the people living here, the original Austrians, are peaceful. Mm -hmm. So I think they are lovable, they are peaceful. And one of the safest places. Well, you already know that. But they are very, um, uh, Austrian people are very uh, conservative. Well, uh, yes, I, I, I said they are reserved. This is my way of saying it. Yeah, know? they are also they are not very open. This is that, being reserved. Has yeah. as, as, as been reserved, but yeah. you know you can't have it all. So if you are reserved and you are reserved or conservative or not open, mm -hmm. but you give me my space. Right. Yeah. You allow me to to stay freely on your land. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, take yeah. offense that you're not open. But when they get to know you, they open up. There but, you go. But you, but you need time they to need prove time. yourself. Yes. You they have to time. prove yourself. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there are lovely people, and uh, everyone who have really, with honesty and sincerity, have dealings with Austrians will tell you they are sincere and open-minded. Yeah. You know, so but. You know, when you're nasty to people, mm. you know, you know how it is. You get back nasty, so yeah. I think in general they are good people. Yeah. Okay. We can take that. Cola <laughs> man himself. So this is a ride with Cola man, right? Ride with Cola man. So I'm opportune to ride with you, boy. You have, you have, are you facing tribuna? Oh <laughs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> I feel great and honored. Thank okay. So Me too. I feel yeah. great when you um when you accepted to be my first guest. Oh, come on. So it's not easy to start a program you know and you I have two pack. No. You know I can't say no to you, you know. <laughs> and you know you're one of the uh, best coverage so, we have here. Yeah, yeah, you already know that. So thank you. I don't need thank to you. talk much and uh, appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Um we go to the next. Mm -hmm. I think we are on, on five now, so six. Okay. What is the three most beautiful things you like about Vienna? Wow, well, three most beautiful things that I love about Vienna. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Must, can you give me a tip? Can you just guide me on it, this? Must, if you travel in, in okay. if you travel to Paris now, mm -hmm. there must okay. be something okay. you okay. like about okay. Paris. I love uh uh I love um Vienna as per se, uh like the city center, like the first district. Okay. Uh, you know, it's a circle. Okay. I, I love the architects of Vienna. You know, they have the ancient buildings here and they maintain this culture. So, the, the I, architecture. Yes. And I love the transport system of wow. Austria. They are number one. So, I think I, I one might, of the best. One do of I the have best. three now? I love two. You have two. I have two. two. Okay. And um, I also love. Their transportation system, even if you don't have a car, you will still be comfortable traveling from A to B. Definitely. And most of, of course, sometimes they come two, two minutes late, but it's, it's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. give them from, from 1 to 100, I can give them 99 or 98. They are absolutely good. They are very good. And, and I love... And very clean. And I love the, the Prater, you know, the amusement Prater. Okay. It's, it's a good place to hang out, especially when you have kids. And, you know, and I love their food. Vienna Schnitzel, don't forget. Oh, okay. So I'm making it for now. And Vienna Wurstel. You already know that. So. Okay, what about their health system? Oh, your boy. You know, I was saying, give me a guide, you know. And <laughs> the health system is fantastic. You know, yeah. It is fantastic. It's second to none. And uh, kudos. There was one guy I met uh, in the airport. He's Australian. Mm -hmm. He had a, a tumor in the brain. Wow! And to operate it in, in Australia, they, they, they charged him sixty-two thousand Australian dollars. Wow! But he came to Vienna and started living in Vienna. And later on, he well, he started working, and it was operated for free in Vienna. He didn't pay a dime. But in Australia. He's a citizen of Australia, he must pay 62,000 Australian dollars. Medical in Siena so, is second to none. And like you can see, most Europeans, yeah. most leaders in the European countries do come here for treatment. You can imagine. Yeah, they do. You can imagine. So, we are going to the seventh. Okay. What is the difference between white people and black people based on character? <laughs> um okay i'm gonna speak uh, not really as a black person but i'm speaking as uh, i'm not speaking generally for the black people yeah but i'm talking as a black person my own opinion yeah um the white or uh, say let's keep it in austria mm -hmm. the austrians uh believe in reality and yeah. most i would say most of the africans believe in fantasy and uh, that means uh, they really don't face the facts yeah. and they also live in assumption yeah. why a typical Austrian believe in reality what he's saying yeah. and uh, of course you know the reason for all they, this they used, to, they, they, used, they used to say um, Vertrauen is good, but control, control is better. Is better you know? <laughs> so they have there to be sure a, in everything yes, they are doing. You know? but, but this has two, uh, they, they have positive and negative sides. Mm -hmm. In the side of African, that we don't face reality, sometimes we, we face absorption. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a positive side of that. Yes. Because there's some kind of move an African man will make, he moves with faith. And he goes and he works out for him. But the European cannot make that move because he wasn't sure. So he stays where he is. Yeah. Well, like, like when we are coming here. When mm. I was coming to Europe, I have no mother, I have no father. Mm. How do I know that I'm going to survive? I don't even know. I, had, I didn't have up to 100 euro in my pocket. Even after taking the train, my money was finished. They, they take risk as well. Yeah. Like, but, Mongo Park came to downtown without knowing no one and uh, i'm sure he has bread he has bread he prepared uh, he has yeah, bread with okay. him he has wine okay. with him okay he will have some certain things L let's give it <laughs> let's give it to that but you know uh at the end of the day there is always need yeah. to be prepared before you embark of course of course uh, though some of us must have taken that journey and 
came out successfully does not mean uh, is the best uh, route to, to life. You know? So yeah. it's always good to you know get preparation, yeah. get information about where you're going and what you want to do before you start embarking. So yeah. yeah. Okay, that's number one. That's number one point. Is there any other difference? Um, the Western people uh, have value more for uh, lives of their people. Okay. In compared to a typical now let me talk about not generalizing Africa mm. talk about Nigeria where I come from mm. um, the Westerners will uh, put infrastructures you know to help life mm. and in this way I'm thinking they are helping to you know keep life going for their people yeah now uh, a typical Nigerian uh, leader or politicians or whatever you might call or even, might, even people in position yes might have this intention but because of the corruption greed and greed you see they might not want to you know give out this kind of uh, love to their people yeah thereby and then they are not killing directly but indirectly, indirectly, indirectly. You know, people are being affected they are not building the roads exactly. accidents are happening, happening and people are dying you know mm -hmm. if you don't equip your hospital with the necessary materials equipment that they need and sometimes because of lack of medicine or equipment mm -hmm. people will lose their life on time that they were supposed to live mm -hmm. so this is why i say that Austrians care more about life yeah. of their people. Yeah. Why we care less, even though we proclaim and talk more about love, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, in terms of helping that life to, you know, sustain it, mm -hmm. we are very kind of lacking in that aspect. And uh, another point is that even animals here have rights, but in Africa, animals doesn't have rights. Yeah, you know, yeah. this is a Western culture. Uh, if, you, if you are driving a car and you see a chicken passing with the, with uh, her children, you will stop for, for a chicken to cross the road. But in Africa, you give gas. Yes, this, you're right. Sometimes chicken, it dies even on, on your screen, you know? Yeah. This is uh, uh, now the uh, upbringing. Uh, yeah. We generally do not attach much interest on animals yeah you know we don't give value or, or lives itself you know yes we don't give value to their life yeah. and so we see them like you know at the end of the day they will end up in our pot uh, yeah you know so <laughs> we don't really care about Ch over here soup. exactly my, my favorite <laughs> <laughs> so that's just the way it is okay market. so let's go to the next question okay okay we just uh, eight mm -hmm. Black man and white man who lie past. Wow, this this one are pigeon English. Yeah. So I need to break so it down. So that is sweet, you know? well, well. Yeah. <laughs> so I go answer them in a in a break, you know, break and down so yeah. that people who lie past. Who lie past. Wow. Black man and the white man. You know, um, I think in life, in life, you know, we we lie, you know, to live. Life is made up of truth and lies. Really? Yes, that is just the truth. But a lot of people will not agree. But sometimes you need to lie to get a way to, to live. You know. So life is, you know, truth will set you free. They say. Yeah. And sometimes truth can also kill you. Yeah. You know. So we mix lies and truth in life to sustain our, you know, living. Yeah. You know. And uh, some might say. Oh, how you know? I'm not, I don't lie, and I'm like, come on, man. We all lie in our daily lives. Mm. You, know? you know, just imagine a telephone call, but, like but, but, you're answering. <laughs> you are home, right? And your friend is asking, where you did, man? I know the house, so yeah. well, you're home, man. You're, yeah. home. you're damn lying right there, you know. Yeah. But you know, we see lie like when you lie big, you know. Yeah. And lie comply when you lie small or big. But, but there's a lie that kills people. That's a lie that doesn't hurt anyone. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, but I, in, in this um, question, there must be someone that lied past. Huh. Is it a white man or a black man? Oh, that dangerous lie is what we mean now. Not the beautiful lie. Mm -hmm. That ugly lie that put people in danger. 
black man and uh, white man who lie past. Who lie past. So that means. In pidgin English. That means <laughs> the, yeah, from your question, that means the both lie. Yeah. Now we are looking for, you know. Yeah. Who is a champion liar? Right? Everyone lies. <laughs> Everyone lies. Yes, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. lies. You know, we all lie. You know, so. Yeah. But um, there's a white lie, mm -hmm. there's a blatant lie, mm -hmm. there's a lie that put people in danger, yes. put people's life in danger. Yes. But, there's, but I'm, I'm talking about that that lie that kills people. Mm -hmm. Who lie past? Um, I will want to say uh, the white man lie so good, but uh, you know they modernize their lie. You know, okay. You know, they they make it look like, um, uh, you know... Harmless. Exactly. They, they <laughs> Even though like it might be harmful. Crazy. Yes. Yeah. They lie like crazy. Yeah. But, you know, um, they modernize it, kind of, uh, you know, make it look fashionable. Yeah. And then we buy into, you know, those kind of lies. Mm. And before you know it, we begin to talk the chart of lying yeah so they lie but you know you know we lie some they lie patiently yes and <laughs> we as black or as africa or let me say as nigerians we lie anyhow have, yes we lie <laughs> without you know reckless abandon you know without you as know, your job. like you know just <laughs> let it roll like you know i'm telling and you and sometimes we make it we make our life look like real yeah and it is so bad especially when you have to lie to you people yeah. knowing fairly well that you lie so and sometimes it's more hurtful when you catch the person red-handed mm -hmm. you still lie yeah. and still tell you it's not what you think yeah exactly you know we've seen so many things like so i think uh, and, and, and and the worst part is the lying of betrayer mm -hmm. people that lies by betraying their their, their fellow, their fellow colleagues or yeah friends. it's very yeah. Yeah. you can kill someone with that definitely yeah definitely. Most people are being hurt as a result of lies that are being told against them, and uh, you know sometimes it's not easy to go and revise it. You yeah, know, to, yeah. You know, get back uh, people to start to believe what you're saying is true. So, yeah. you know, okay. I, I think we should stay away from lying big. You know, don't lie big. Lie, lie too bad. It's more, more lies. <laughs> Gentle lie. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. You know. But but uh, in conclusion, who lie past, black man or white man? Uh, we need an objective answer. Okay, I hope my my race will not kill me for this <laughs> uh, because I've seen people lie, you know, yeah. like like crazy yeah. that put people into trouble. So I think, in other words, it will be like who who is more honest, black man or a white man? Who is more honest? Oh, if you want to talk about honest, white men honest. are more honest. Yeah, yeah, they are more honest. Yeah. That's why their country is like yes, this. they are more honest. You can see the evidence of that too. So in other ways, we lie like crazy and uh, you know, we lie more. And we are not honest. We are not honest. One, one, the, kind one, of, one, the, one near. Yes. We betray ourselves. Mm. It's, 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 it's sad to say it. But, yeah, it's the truth. You know, it's it's the just, truth. Uh, we must say it. And then the truth will be told. Exactly. You know? So I'm sorry if I hurt you know, some of the viewers, <laughs> but you know, don't kill me for this. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Once I'm, I'm standing on the truth, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Just let it roll. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm ready to stand there. That's just the way it is. <laughs> okay. Um, question number 10. Okay. What, what advice would you give to anyone in Africa planning to come to Austria? What advice would you give to anyone in Nigeria planning to come to Austria? First of all, coming to Austria is 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 a very good uh, as a, a, a idea, you know, if you want to come to Austria. But uh, my first uh, uh, advice is please seek and choose uh, a legal way to come to Austria. That means. Uh, don't just come to Austria because uh, I'm talking about health or the, the life quality. Uh, my advice is please don't come to Austria just because you want to come to Austria. 
see how you can get the legal documents before coming to Austria. I think okay. it's important to yeah, that's come legally. Yes, come, come legally. legally. Don't come. We did it. We came in, you know, years back uh, through different anyhow. means. Anyhow, but guess what? It's not Those working days anymore. are gone. It's not no, working you can't anymore. try it now. So make sure you come with a genuine visa. Come with a genuine visa. Do the right thing, and I, I tell you, if you do it, you're gonna enjoy this country. Okay, it's also depending on what the person is coming to do. Is it coming to work or is it coming to study? Exactly. Uh, yes, if you're coming to study, you're welcome. You know, if we... you're coming to study, make sure you have to spend one year learning German. That's number one. Before yeah. you can even start any course, you have to learn German for one year and pass it before you can start the course. Mm -hmm. That's the main information mm -hmm. about studying. That means you have to also have the resources to carry you Along. in the course of doing this. So yeah. it's, it's not easy. Exactly. Not easy. So you get information from the, uh, uh, what do you mean, uh, what do you call them? The, from the embassies or the the, the, uh, the people invo in, involved in, uh, you know, uh, helping you to do yeah. this transition. Make your research yeah. very so well. Gets, proper information so that you don't just come in here and get stuck yeah you know because so many guys are stuck in here you know yeah yeah so which way do i drive straight 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 okay. Yeah. okay so um the next question question number 10 uh, 11 is our african communities in vienna actually thriving or they are managing uh, well, you know, life is about management, mm -hmm. so I would give it to managing, you know, because um, our African communities here, uh, they are really trying, you know, to be of help to each other, and uh, because of the language barrier, uh, because of the uh, some of us don't have a proper job and uh, because of documents as well the legal status it kind of slow our pace yeah it, it limits us it limits us so we 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 have a level at which we can attend to mm -hmm. and uh, but i think uh, with time and i'm happy you know we are dropping kids in here you know so our kids are growing and uh, they are the ones that will finish this study definitely so we're like we set the pace right now just give it some years and uh, but, it, but, but, yes, but the, but the truth is that we are not where we're supposed to be yes uh, you to know, compare with our our brothers that are living in the UK or, or in America you know that's absolutely correct you know you see I will tell you one of the reasons um, you know Austria is a German speaking area mm. or country so to say mm. and you can't operate here if you can't speak German. Yeah. And and some of us have this attitude, even myself, you know, like, oh, German is very hard, you know, and we begin to lose interest in learning the language. Mm -hmm. Knowing fully well, even back then in, in, in Africa or in Nigeria, you know? Yeah. For example, take, for example, you take right. Yeah? Yeah, right here. Okay. If you're like, in the east, where we come from, like in the eastern Igbo speaking area, and you just come across a Yoruba man, whom you typical Yoruba man, living there, doing business, and speak Igbo back to you. Yeah. You know, you feel more open and uh, more well, relaxed, confidence, and you feel like he's your you know? brother. So yeah. you want to give him every hope. Yeah, it's same here. If you're in German country or German speaking area, yeah. and you're not trying to, even though you have some grammatic errors yeah. which is normal even our kids can perfect it but for us that came in with uh, 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 old age mm -hmm. we we'll always have grammatic errors yeah. but at least you are able to you know communicate communicate put the present into the past and sometimes they understand you mm -hmm. so in this way you create a little chance you know for you so because of language we are not where we're supposed to be standing right now okay so I think the language is one of the barriers, like you mentioned UK, yeah, yeah. UK is like a continuum, English, yeah. you know, you just come in and the people are speaking your language, so you just, yeah. it's, it's easy to study and here, 
we can't further education. You know, if it's not language barrier, I would have further my studies. I would have tried to, to study law or something like that, something bigger. This is it. I, I did uh, um, graphic design. Yeah. You, but you it was, can do so much. Yeah, and I passed it, but it was um, it was a struggle because yeah. of the language. Yeah. And, and one thing is that Austrians, when you are in the class with them, they think you are stupid. They don't think they don't understand that you have a language barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That if the subject would be taught in English, you would be number one. Yeah. They, they, they don't know that. They don't. Yeah, because they feel it's your choice to be here. Yeah. And if you're you here, have to live with it. As will tell you, if I want to go to America mm. to live, I will prepare myself. I will know that it's English. Yeah. And I'm not going to America to change them to start speaking German. Yeah.